What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, before we even get into this video, I want, first of all, don't even leave. Y'all need to hear this. Because I'm going to address these comments, and I'm absolutely going to speak about why it is I feel the way that I feel. And it's okay for y'all to feel the way that y'all feel. As far as what I'm saying, this is 50-50. Some of y'all feel as though these grown people that is, and when I say grown, they almost crush on my age. Stop playing with me, bro. These people are 40 plus. Anyway, so with 40 plus people against Krishan. Now, um, I want to get into first uh, Mr. L. Davis, which is Lee Troy, the one who came out originally and said what it is that he had to say. Um, he says, from now on, if anyone is abused or attacked and I'm present when it happens, I'm going to just stay quiet and act like I don't know anything. Apparently, I'm wrong for speaking out against violence, so I just want to apologize for not being okay with abuse. Sorry, I'll never speak on that again, okay? Now, that's what he had to say. Why he like to be shady with everything he say? Mm, he must be a Leo. But, shady, he didn't mean that apology. He's upset at the fact that whoever is on his ass is on his ass. Now, here's the problem. You cannot come out with a story that A, is not being filmed, especially these days. Like, where the footage at? Because like Krishan said, they filmed everything else. Where is that at? Now, nah, I ain't going to lie to Krishan. That was a good, <laughs> that was a good gaslight, okay? However, clearly this happened, right? Clearly all of this happened. But for him to come out and give a story, then Tamar give a story, and then James give a story, and y'all wonder why everybody like, well, wait a minute, what really happened? Now, for some reason, when people... Um, <clears throat> get hurt or somebody is uh, in tears about something, everybody instantly gets emotional. It is a tearjerker. It is a problem. I want y'all to know right now, if that man would have hit Krishan back, I would have clapped my hands. Sorry. And some of y'all going to be against that. But you cannot put your hands on people and not expect for hands to get put back on you. Now, as many people as Krishan has hit, I don't blame anybody for hitting her back. If Krishan would have hit me, I would hit Krishan back. And if Krishan would have hit you, I would think that you would hit her back. Hell, when Krishan hit Blue, he hits her back too, okay? I still talk about him. So actually, I wouldn't be the one to be like, oh my God, that is so fucked up. No, Krishan, you have on rings that are like, <laughs> damn near brass knuckles, them some big rings. So for her to hit him, break his, that's the whole thing, the nose, all that shit. Anyway, for her to hit him and potentially mess his face up, that is highly possible. But for him to hit her ass back was just as possible, okay? I just want to put that out there. Now, I don't know where this concussion came from. The nose is broken and all this other shit because that's not what Lee Troy said in the beginning, okay? What he said was, uh, Krishan came in there, pressed everybody, asked to why the hell she wasn't performing because why the hell Krishan got a mic in the first place? Krishan felt embarrassed and she felt embarrassed because y'all said that she was going to be doing something, whether that was shaking ass on the stage, coming on the stage, whatever. Whoever gave Krishan access to that mic, yeah, wrong time. Okay, wrong time, wrong place. If you already see somebody's irate, if you already see somebody is inebriated, why the fuck would you give him a mic? And y'all want me to be mad at Krishan for that? Now, why can't Krishan be old enough to not take the mic, whatever the fuck? Krishan felt as though that she was supposed to be doing a service. And that's another thing that y'all are missing. Is she supposed to do that shit in between love and war? No. Hell no. Now, I don't know who told her to do that. I ain't the messenger for that. I don't know. I wasn't there. But a lot of y'all are in confusion. I feel like I ain't. I know exactly what he said. I know exactly what Tamar said. And I know exactly what James said. And the math ain't mathing. Sorry. All right, let's get into these comments. <clears throat> Tamar was in Rock's live that day saying, I'm calling and you're not answering. Oh, let me not forget. Tamar begged her to come to that show. Begged, begged, and pleaded, and begged. She interrupted the live. She interrupted the... Um, um, hell, Krishan Jr. meeting his grandma. She just kept coming and come. What you need me there so bad for, sis? Like, for real. And y'all wonder why we looking at it like, you needed me there so bad to press charges against me for said disrespect that Krishan felt as though she was disrespected. Like, y'all don't have to beg me there to do that. A, B, y'all know who the fuck I am. Stop playing with me. 
They're trying to act like they don't know who she is. They're trying to act like they didn't know she, that she did music. They're trying to act like she don't. That they're trying to act like they don't know she show her ass when she get drunk. Why everybody trying to act like they don't know who Krishan is when we all know who Krishan is? Stop playing with me, bro. So ultimately, James, fuck that. Tamar should have never invited her. Ridiculous. Tamar is such a good actress. She's laughing when she was covering her mouth to make it look like she was crying. I disagree with that. Uh, I just love this channel. You are always the voice of reason that makes uh, complexity seem a whole lot easier to understand. Thank you, friend. Love it, love it, love it. The situation is the same as someone asking if a dog bite. Now, you better say that. Everybody that know Krishan know that she's capable of and how immature she is facts to expect her to be any different is beyond me i gotta agree with that <clears throat> uh i've said it before i'll say it again krishan need a new professional team facts she's hiring too many inexperienced people to help her facts tamar ain't no better facts okay <laughs> she's just as ratchet as krishan i'm sorry this person is right on point i'm gonna go to another comment but since you on point I'm sorry, I know she has free will, but at this point, I feel like she was set up, and it's sad that people wanted to see her fall so bad and that she was put in a position like this. This girl has truly been torn down. I hope she can get through this. I agree with that. I'm trying to get to a comment that um, you y'all don't agree with me. I feel she only responded because they were stating that she was clout chasing off of Krishan's name. I feel like she may have invited her out with the assumption that uh, she was going to perform, but I do feel that the tour was not getting a lot of recognition through social media because this is the first, this is the first that I'm hearing of this scandal. I feel they talked down on Krishan and treated her a certain way and she reacted to disrespect. I also agree with that. And let me also tell y'all what I feel like Krishan was triggered. Uh, when she was showing her ass on that stage and everybody was treating her like, um, you know how when you you see a child showing their ass in a grocery store and you like, what what are you doing? Get your ass up. You get what I'm saying? I feel like she felt like that. Not only that, they was not only aggravated with her. Nobody wanted to, nobody wanted her near them, all that. Are they wrong for that? No. But it is a way to do things. She shouldn't have never been on that stage. She shouldn't have never had a mic. She shouldn't have never been there. That's the way you do things. Don't invite her. Come on. I am just flabbergasted. <laughs> a lot of this miscommunication could have been avoided if she had a real team handling details. Facts. Also, for her, for her, for her to say her, what you call it, um, her manager was handling whatever, she need to fire him ASAP. He should have been gone yesterday. Or he should have been gone when it happened. Um, it appears uh Tamar Braxton is responsible miscommunication with Krishan and her crew it is hard to believe this old man let Krishan punch him like facts uh Tamar Braxton kept calling to make sure Krishan came the promoter was exposed for lying facts uh about not knowing who Krishan was no photo video police report nothing nothing she's still liable because whether Krishan was uh, compensated or not, she made the appearance and therefore Tamar is liable. Also, a fact. That's why I said, if they sue Krishan, if I was Krishan, I would sue them. Point black. Kr Tamar would be the first one on the docket. Do you hear me? Matter of fact, she would be the second because I would sue the promoter. Who gave Krishan the mic? <laughs> Have you ever seen a show where somebody said, hey, Whitney, while you perform at such and such, we just going to give a little John the mic so he can come in there and talk about, yeah, like that's like, y'all acting like it is not a, dis, uh, a discrepancy. Um, matter of fact, I want to use a different word. I can't think of it, but it's like a, a, a conf, not a confusion. It's something in here that is, um, God, I can't think of what I want to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, though. Like, girl, she shouldn't have had that mic. I don't know what other way I can say it. She shouldn't have had that mic, period. Um, I also hope this is a learning lesson for Krishan to stop being so violent. I agree as well. Laying hands on someone to harm them is not always the answer. It's not the answer at all. Um, she's getting bigger and bigger as far as influence and has to start taking the high road, walk away, Krishan, and please stop fighting. Facts. 
Um, there's a video. Tamar asked Krishan if she's going to perform. She said that she uh, had to check with her manager. Now she didn't. Tamar did not ask Krishan if she was going to perform. She asked Krishan was she going to go up there and shake her ass. That's what she asked her. So since Tamar asked her this, let me ask y'all. Why the fuck she have a mic? I know y'all want to run away from that question, but you telling me that you gave an inebriated 23-year-old a mic telling her to twerk? <laughs> did somebody tell her to twerk? Or did they tell her to get on the mic? Second question, what the fuck Krishan need a mic to twerk for? A lot of y'all saying that she might have stole a mic. She wasn't already on stage, so she couldn't have stole the mic. From anybody on stage. She had just walked on stage. We would know that because we seen that. Tamar was on stage singing Love and War. And then Krishan comes walking on the stage. Now, for some reason, well, first of all, I got almost 3,000 damn comments. Shout out to y'all. Uh, so I, I can't even get to the comment that I want to get to. Um, but a lot of people were basically saying that... Uh, if that man were to hit Krishan back, it would have been an issue. I completely disagree. Um, I'm not saying it would be, it wouldn't have been an issue from everybody else. However, if a man's nose is broken, can't stop bleeding, whatever, and you chip my damn teeth, girl, I'm going to try and take you up out of here, male or female. I just hate the fact that y'all trying to give excuses for these fucking 40 plus people. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Krishan as a little cousin would not be coming to none of my events. I would absolutely pull up on her when I got there later after my show. Or I would have told her to pull up to my hotel and we would have got some shots in in my hotel. I would have damn near been scared to tell her to come to my hotel because Krishan going to show her ass. So let, <laughs> come to the B&B. You know what I'm saying? But she wouldn't have been in my show. Whether y'all agree or disagree, baby, it, we are here. But I'm going to tell you right now, since he feeling like that, and since he feel like everybody against him now, he's probably not going to press charges. And since there's no proof, I guess until this police report come out, uh, it's looking like Krishan might be free. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.